Hi guys and welcome to this, uh, it's probably going to be a little bit longer than normal, but there's a video on the rule for the nth term in a sequence representing geometric growth or decay. Now basically in previous videos we have looked at how to create a sequence in a way that if we knew the rule and how to get from one term to the next we could just keep going and going and going. Now that's great isn't it because if I've got the first term and I've got some sort of a rule I can get to the next and 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 I can keep going until I'm bored of doing it. But what if I gave you the first term and the rule and I told you I wanted you to get to the 100th term? Well, that's going to take some serious amount of time to do that with your calculator because you're going to have to hit that execute button or that equals button over 99 times. And that seems a bit pointless to me. There has got to be a better way of doing it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there is a better way of doing it. And that's what this video is going to deal with. Now, if you haven't already done so, thank you for joining my little video. But can you subscribe? That little arrow is pointing to a doohickey in the corner where you can subscribe. I'm not going to be rich, I'm not going to be famous, uh, but it does let me know that you're watching and it sort of gives me a purpose for creating these videos. Every now and again I just seemingly give up because I'm like, no one is, is watching these videos. Sounds a bit needy, but if you can get the word out there as well, I am trying to create quality resources, which are also on massguru.com, uh, where you can sign up for free and you can find the sort of videos uh, sorted by textbook and by chapter and have downloadable notes. Right, so we've talked about the previous videos. Okay, so let's go and recap back on our work on geometric sequences. Now, if we remember, a geometric sequence is one that to go from one term to the next, you multiply by the same thing. So, for example, if I had a uh, times two rule and my first number was one, and to get to the next one, I double it. So that's two, I double again, four, and again, and again, and again. All right, and we keep going. And what you notice is that is getting bigger. So we call that exponential growth because the numbers are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We can multiply by numbers smaller than one. So for example, 0.5, so if I have 100, well multiplying by 0.5 is effectively the same as halving it. So I'm gonna do half of 100, which is 50, half of 50, which is 25, half of 25, which is 12.5, and I'm not gonna go any further because my brain will just fritz. But the idea is that we can use this exponential growth, or in this situation, decay, to grow and shrink and create sequences. Now, here is an example of one that we dealt with previously. V0 equals 1,000. So my first term is 1,000, and V of n plus 1 equals 1.1 times Vn. So that means to get to my next term, I multiply my previous term by 1.1. Now, a little bit of word of reminder that whenever that number there is like bigger than 1, it will grow, and whenever it's more than one, it will shrink. Good to know, Math Guru. So I'm gonna fire up my calculator, and if you remember how to do this, the first thing we do is put 1000 into my memory by doing 1000 and hit execute. And now I can just use my 1.1, and I'm gonna multiply that by, or bring up my keyboard, and ANS. Now if you remember, ANS just remembers my previous answer and hit enter, and I've got 1,100, do it again, 1,210, 1,331, and so it goes on. So I could write my sequence out now as 1,000, 1,100, 1,210, 1,331, 1,464.1. And what I know for each of these is that to go from here to here, I've multiplied by 1.1. To go from here to here, I've multiplied by 1.1, and likewise, I've multiplied by 1.1, or I haven't, the calculator has. Now I want to think about this in a slightly different way, right? Because using a CAS is great, but as I said to you at the start of this video, we don't want to keep doing this over and over again. So let's start with V0 equals 1000. V1 I've decided is 1000 times 1.1. Yes? Okay. And V2 is going to be my answer to V1 multiplied by 1.1, yes, because to get to my second number, I take my previous one and multiply it by 1.1, and my third one would be V2, multiplied by 1.1. I'm gonna write this in a slightly different way. I'm now gonna say, well, we know that V1 is also 1,000 times 1.1. So 1,000 times 1.1, that's this V1, which I'm gonna multiply by this 1.1 there. So all I've done is I've substituted this here and just made it that little bit longer. And guess what I'm gonna do again? Well, I now know that V2 can be replaced by all of that. So I'm gonna take my value of V2 here and that's gonna become 1000 times 1.1 
times 1.1. So that is my V2, which I'm now going to multiply by 1.1. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, we can see that every single time I do this, I seem to be doing something quite similar. Now, don't press stop, not just yet, guys. This is a preview video and you've reached almost the end of it, but it does continue over on mathsguru.com. Mascara.com. Yep, that's my custom website. Bits of it you can see around me at the moment. That has been designed to allow the videos to be easier searched than they are on YouTube. So you can search by chapter, by textbook. Each video has downloadable notes for you, so you can put them in your summary book or your exercise book. There are exam questions and there is more and more content and more stuff coming as time allows. So head on over there. It's absolutely free to sign up and I'm doing everything I can to make sure that you guys enjoy maths and actually take out the mastery of maths. It is not as hard as you think. It is all smoke and mirrors. Okay, thanks very much. Take care guys. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Stay safe.